It's a really cool bag mart video. Hi, I'm Paul with Plastic Bag Mart. Welcome to Bag Mart University. Today's class is bag dimensions. I want to help familiarize you with how we measure bag dimensions so you'll easily understand which way we're measuring as you look on our website to find the size of bag that you need. So the first dimension that we typically measure is thickness. We have a whole video just on this alone. And we measure low density polyethylene bags with a dial indicator that reads in mils. Let's open it up, put one side of the bag in there, let it close down, and it tells how many mils thick the bag is. A mil, that's the whole word, it's not short for millimeter, that means one one thousandth of an inch. And the way we list it on our website is one mil or two mils. However, sometimes our manufacturers will list them as 0.001 or 0.002, which would mean one one thousandth of an inch, two one thousandths of an inch, same thing as one or two mils. Uh, so these low-density polyethylene bags are typically going to range anywhere from one mil thick, which would be the thickness of a bread bag, up to six mils thick, which would be what you might use for a drum liner or a bin liner, some heavy-duty industrial purpose. The next thing that we're going to measure are the width and the height of the bag. We always put width first, so a 10 by 12 bag would mean 10 inches wide, 12 inches tall. So first measuring the width, then the height. Special note, if we're talking about Ziploc bags, we're still going to measure the width first, but then we're only measuring from the bottom of the bag up to the zipper. So it would be 5 inches wide, but 5 inches just up to the zipper. Sometimes bags will have gussets or pleats on the side and the way we're going to measure these is just open that thing up wide, measure the whole width of just that pleat, and then when we write it down we're going to put that dimension in the middle. So the bag would be three and a half inches wide across the front, two and a half inches wide on the side gusset or pleat, and nine and three quarters tall. Bags can also have bottom gussets, which open up a little wider at the bottom for more room. We're going to measure those the same way as a side gusset. However, we're going to list it differently. This bag would be 12 inches wide by 15 inches tall, and at the end we put a plus three for the bottom gusset and we indicate that BG for bottom gusset because there are other things that could come at the end. For instance, here's a lip and tape bag. The height of the whole bag only comes up to here with just one side extending for another inch and a half for a lip. You peel this tape off and fold it over and the bag seals nicely. So the actual bag is only a five by five but it's got a a one and a half inch lip on one side. So we'd write it five by five plus 1.5 lip. You could also have a back flip on a bag. These are commonly used for um, shirts by embroiderers. You would put your item inside the bag and then on one side there's an extra four inches that you can flip over to seal your product in. That bag would be 13 inches wide, 13 inches tall, not counting the back fold, and then plus 4 BF for back fold. That tells you just about everything you need to know about measuring bags and understanding our website when you're searching for a certain size of bag. Thank you for watching. We'll see you on the next video.